So guys, this dog park is really big. You, if you have big dogs, people tend to play here, fetch and stuff. But we usually go around it. Guys, look at Brownie. He's going blind Sing, so we're just gonna let him do his thing. Um, that's why the stroll is there. He walks like few steps and he refused to walk either. So that's where I put all my bags. We can, we can put the harness here and they can put the water bottle there and the treats here. And then you can also put uh, my bags in there. And We are the small dog park. The brownie pooped. Nugget. Panchetta. The brownie. Panchetta. into University of Washington there is a parking lot that is filled with parking spot I wouldn't suggest anyone to park right next to the dog park because they're always filled up there's a lot of people there people just love going there it's like a doggy paradise so definitely park before you actually get to the park there's a huge arena I think in front of the tennis court uh, with the baseball field so definitely park there this park has different section there is the big the entire park which is for big dog off leash small dogs can join and then they have the uh, right at the entrance there's a small dog area it's just for small, small dog which is really helpful if your dog is scared of big dogs which can happen sometimes there is also a lake right next to it um, that opens up for doggies to swim I am told this is the only place in Seattle that has um, an area where dog is legally allowed to swim in so keep that in mind it's definitely a good place to visit we love this park overall but you definitely have to watch out because there's different types of dogs some dogs are pretty new to their owner and they're not well trained so they can't come back we had a few accidents in the past where a big dog the owner couldn't call him back and we had to basically um, save Panchetta from the dog sadly the dog was just being friendly but it because our dogs are so small our vet suggested that just one puncture wound just one accidentally puncture could just basically end his life so that's something definitely keep in mind if you have big dogs that's fine if you have small dogs definitely know that there's tons of big dogs at this park
here we have the doggy swimming area it's really nice it's right at the lake um there's tons of dogs definitely watch your dogs this is probably pretty chaotic on a busy day um make sure you keep an eye on your dog if you have a smaller dog definitely check for waves because waves can just hit them and it can be quite scary for a small dog um if you have life jacket definitely bring life jacket and make sure your dog can actually um dog naturally can swim but definitely help them if you could There is also another area that's just for the human. Um, it's right directly, we'll show you right off the park. Um, this is the area and you can barbecue with your family. You can also take your kids to the lake and have your dog, but your dog does have to be on leash for this area. So do keep that in mind. And there's a nice uphill area where you can tan. Oh, no, no, no. Nagy, let's go home. I'll cook you meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. Oh, my. Oh, my. Hey guys, now we're at the small dog park area. Um, here's where little dogs are. It's pretty cute. Um, sometimes there are Frenchie meetups. Um, sadly, there's no Chihuahua meetup in Seattle, but there's tons of Frenchie meetup. Um, just go on Meetup the app and you'll probably find a French meetup one day throughout the year, a few times actually. Um, that's at this park and it's uber cute. You get to see lots of Frenchies. Do you want to stay? Do you want food or do you want to stay? 